Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be uh, actually reading text from a file and displaying it to a window within Ancurses. Uh, this is actually a user requested video. A few people have requested this over the years, so I figured I'd just do it. So uh, let's just get started. So to start out today, um, again, the usual stuff, I have a make file here. Uh, feel free to pause and copy that down for yourself. Um, I also have created a test.txt file, which just creates, uh, just has some lorem ipsum text. Feel free to just generate your own and throw it into a file. Um, or if you really want, you could copy this, but um, it's just nonsense anyways, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then I do have just a basic template here to save some time. I've included end curses, vector, because we're going to be using vector to store the lines within the file. Uh, we're going to be using string to actually store the lines themselves, uh, fstream to read the file, um, and then I've just put some using statements here so I don't have to type std colon colon string every time I want to use string. Uh, then I've created a forward declaration here for the read file function that we're going to declare later. Um, and then I've just started end curses set no echo, did a refresh, and end end curses here. So let's just get started. So uh, first off, uh, basically what we're going to want to do is in order to display this window, we're going to want it to basically fit the text. So in order to do that, we're going to need to know the number of lines in the file, and we're going to need to know the width of the file. So um, what this read file function is basically going to do is it's going to take a string, which is the file name, um, it's going to return a vector of lines from the file. Uh, so we'll be able to check the size of this to get how long the, or how many lines are in the file. And then we're also going to pass a uh, int integer uh, into the um, function as well. And what that's going to do, it, it's an int reference. So that way we can return the longest line from the file, or sorry, the longest line length. And that's going to become the width of our window basically. So um, just as a little mock-up here, you know, you know, knowing that about our function, what we can do is say, okay, we're gonna create a width variable and we're also gonna create a vector string called uh, lines. And that's gonna take the return value from read file and read file is just gonna take our test.txt file as input. And it's also gonna take the width variable as uh, so that it can return the longest line length from it. Once we've got those two things, the lines and the width, what we can do is we can actually create a window. So window star, we'll call it text win, uh, and we'll set that equal to new win. And it's, I always get confused, but it's the number of rows, the number of columns, then it's the y, uh, the start starting y value and the starting x value. So for the number of rows we want, we want uh, that to be equal to lines.size. And really we want it to be equal to lines.size plus two because we're going to be adding a border around the edge here. So we want to make sure that we leave room for the top row to be a border and the bottom row to be a border. So that'd be plus two. And then for the number of columns, we want to also do width plus two, because again, same thing with the borders on the sides. Um, and then we'll just put it at position 515, just so it's not right up against the top or the side there. Um, so. So that'll be our window. Um, so that's how we're gonna calculate it so that it fits our text within it. Then uh, we'll just throw a box border around it. So text win zero, zero, like that. Um, then we'll also wanna make sure we do w get char for our text win. And what this will do is this will give us a refresh for free on our text win. And it'll also make sure we wait so that we can see the uh, window. Now, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to actually, uh, actually, I guess we can do a quick um, test here. Uh, I should have run that. Why don't we get anything? Text win, wghr, text win. Oh, I didn't save it. That is my bad. So if we run this, we should see a window with a border, but it doesn't have a width or height because, height because we haven't actually returned anything to it yet. So, but yeah, so that's the basic idea. If it had text, it would expand. So um, next, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna loop over each line within the file and um, print whatever's in that line to the window. So what we'll do here is we'll do four int i equals zero, i is less than lines.size, i plus plus. So uh, for each iteration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a move w print w um, to our text window. Uh, we're gonna want to output to i plus one in each instance because that'll that'll bring us down past the top border so we start at row one instead of at row zero 
And then we're always going to want to print starting at column one. So that way, again, we miss that left border. Um, we don't print over the border. Then we're just always going to print lines I, and we're going to convert it to a C string because that's just how NCURSES works. It expects a C string, C style string instead of a regular string. So again, if we had actually given it a file and read file was actually implemented, this would properly output the file. But right now it's not receiving any input because read file is just basically a, a skeleton function. So now let's actually implement that read file um, function. So uh, first off, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create an IF stream for our uh, file here. And it'll just take the file name as its um, parameter so that we'll basically we're creating a file from our file name. We're also going to want to create a vector string called lines. So that'll contain our uh, lines from the file. And then we're also going to need to create a string called line, which will contain the current line. Uh, you'll see why we need that in a sec, because we're going to loop over the lines. And then we're also going to create a variable, uh, an int called longest, and we're going to set that equal to zero. And this variable is going to, as we iterate through the lines, it'll uh, capture what the longest line is that we've uh, reached so far. So as we go along, we'll check to see if a longer line uh, basically has occurred yet. Now that we've set up, um, we can actually do a little while loop here, and we're going to do while um, git line, and we're going to pass it our file, and we're going to have it output each line to our line variable there. And uh, so within the while loop, what we're going to do is we're going to take our vector lines, or we're going to push um, line onto the back of it. So we're just adding each line to our vector. Then we're also going to want to check to see if um, the current line, so the length of the current line, oops, spelled length wrong. If the length of the current line is greater than our current longest line, if it is, we're going to want to set longest equal to line dot length like that. All right, so the last two things we need to do for this uh, function to work is we need to set longest line length equal to longest. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with references. If we set this equal to this, it's going to re basically return it to whatever was passed in. So our width variable will contain whatever longest line length is set to. Um, so if we set it equal to longest, it'll contain the longest uh, line length within our uh, file. And then instead of returning just a blank vector string, we want to return our lines vector like that. Uh, OK, with all that in place, our function, or sorry, our uh, our program should just work now. So let's make and run it. And you'll see, bam, it's so what it's doing here is it's pulling in the file, and it's placing it within the border of that window. So that border, that window is being dynamically sized to the um, file size. Uh, so for instance, if I delete some of these lines down here, we'll see that uh, we get a shorter window. And if I undo that, and let's say I just delete um, some of the line or some of the length of the lines here at the end. I guess I don't need to do it on a, a border there. So if we do that, um, you'll see that it becomes less wide as well. So it's dynamically sizing to whatever text we're actually passing to it, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for uh, today's video. I hope you guys liked the video. And uh, if you did, consider giving me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave those down below. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing, turning on all notifications. Um, again, I do do user requested videos. Today's video is a user requested one. So if you have any video suggestions, feel free to leave those down below in the comments as well. Um, occasionally, I'll do a poll or I'll put out a post about asking, you know, oh, what, what do you guys want to see? Uh, that's another great place to, um, you know, give me uh, some suggestions for videos you guys want to see. Uh, if you want to support the channel a little bit extra, I do have a PayPal uh, PayPal donate button down below. So if you if you'd like to support me a little bit more, you can uh, you donate there. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.